story in the country of all right now. Um, to get at that one tonight, weirdly, it might help to know that there used to be an official travel agency of the Soviet Union. I kid you not. Uh, early on, Joseph Stalin created an official travel agency for the USSR. It was called In Tourist. If you were a foreigner and you wanted to visit the young Soviet Union, you'd have to go through In Tourist, and they would manage your trip. And I do mean manage. They managed hotels all over the Soviet Union, all these In Tourist hotels. If you wanted to come visit the Soviet Union as a, a foreign tourist or as a foreign business traveler, you would have to stay in one of these in-tourist hotels. This whole in-tourist system was set up by Stalin. And, and everybody who worked at these you know, lovely, very Soviet-looking hotels, they would keep an eye on you while you were having your Russian visit. They would keep a very, very, very close eye on you. Quote, the bellboys, drivers, cooks, and maids all worked for the NKVD which is the secret police agency, later known as the KGB. Also on the payroll at these hotels were the prostitutes who were deployed to entrap and blackmail visiting foreign politicians and businessmen. And these, these in-tourist hotels, they were all over the Soviet Union, and they all operated basically the same way. They'd be a normal, if somewhat terrifying and brutalist Soviet hotel experience for most visitors. But if some foreigner came through who was potentially influential in his or her home country, some decision maker who might be useful to the Soviet state at some point, well then, then they would basically deploy their intelligence assets. They would deploy them to the foreigner's hotel room. Part of the reason we know some of the details of this um, is because of one of these hotels, one of these in-tourist hotels that was in the former Soviet Republic, uh, that is now called Estonia. Estonia is no longer part of the you know, Russian Federation. Estonia is its own thing. Uh, but they had one of these in-tourist hotels. And it's in private hands now. And a few years ago, the new owners of the in-tourist hotel in Estonia, they opened up a museum to highlight all the listening devices and hidden cameras and microphones and spying stations that they found inside the hotel after it was no longer a Soviet spying operation. They started running a museum where they would show how the KGB would spy on people staying in special rooms in this hotel where potentially influential or important foreigners would be assigned to stay when they came to visit. The KGB would mount entrapment operations. They basically would set up all these foreigners to be blackmailed by the Soviet Union. Out of 400 plus, ho 400 plus rooms in this hotel in Estonia, the KGB had 60 of the rooms wired. They also had a monopoly on prostitution at the hotel. All of the prostitutes who they allowed to work at that hotel, all of them were KGB. And we know this in part, we know this in detail with all the visuals and everything, because it's a museum now. So you can see, you know, the holes in the walls and the ways the KGB spied on foreigners and made their blackmail tapes. It's kind of amazing, right? It's all an open secret now. Also, if you're ever in Estonia, best tourist detour ever. Go see the KGB spying on the hotel room museum. It's on the 23rd floor. And of course, now